Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Keto with Sammy and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today we're just going to be doing a what I eat a day on keto. So I didn't get to record over the weekend you guys. I got behind on editing videos because I had a lot going on. I had the birthday party, we stayed late. So that put me behind on editing videos. I'm the person that does it. There's only one of me. So I fell behind and I didn't get to record Vlogmas over the weekend. So I apologize, but we're recording today. Today is currently Monday. Um, so we're just, I'm just gonna take y'all on my day on what I'm going to be eating. We have to do Keto Crate today. So stay tuned for Keto Crate's December unboxing so it's gonna be a little unboxing video today and I'll just show y'all what I'm going to be eating today so currently it's around 12 o'clock I have been fasting since last night because I ate kind of I had a pretty late meal my last meal was around 8 so I've been fasting since 12 today um, I went to the gym this morning I didn't get to record much because there was a lot of people there I didn't really get to record my workout but I had an arm workout I'm usually at the gym between 8 and 9 I get in an hour workout I lifted some weights got in really good biceps and triceps workout so that was really good I came home I had to do some paperwork for my kids school so that took a couple hours probably like an hour or so I got ready showered um, I'm not gonna be doing much today I'm going to I have to catch up on cleaning with my house I desperately need to clean my restroom my boys restroom mom life you know I gotta clean up a little bit my boys are at school my husband's doing stuff for work so everybody's out the house and I have that chance to clean really quickly um, but before we get started on cleaning I'm going to have my first meal of the day like I said I've been fasting um, I'm just eating what I have here at home bacon and eggs really quickly a very simple meal um, I was sending out meal plans earlier if you missed my uh, well it was buy one get one free on my meal plans which was Sunday and Monday only um if you missed it go ahead and message me i might may maybe could push it till tomorrow um if you are interested in meal plans keto meal plans it comes with seven lunches seven dinners go ahead and shoot me an email my email is in the description or you can message me to my facebook page but i was sending out emails to everybody this morning so yeah time kind of flew by we got to catch up but let's go ahead and have my first meal of the day i'm just gonna make some simple bacon and eggs this is what i have on hand I'm trying to use stuff that i have here at home before i have to go grocery shopping later in the week so let's go ahead and get started you know what I feel like I want something more filling so I still have some cut the carb wraps on hand so I'm gonna make a breakfast burrito using these cut the carb wraps usually I stuff it with cheese bacon and egg or sausage and egg crisp it up and it's super good so we're gonna go ahead and go in with cut the carb wraps okay I went ahead and sliced up three slices of bacon Okay, I got my bacon nice and crispy. We're just gonna add a few eggs. I'm just gonna go in with two eggs. I'm just gonna season with some pepper and some salt. This is a very simple breakfast, you guys. Very simple. You could use some um, low carb tortillas. I didn't have no low carb tortillas on hand. My next step is cut the carb wrap. And I love me some good carb wraps. All right. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and scramble this up. And then we'll add it to our cut the carb wrap. Okay, I have a cut the carb wrap right here. It's basically a low carb flatbread. But you can use it for so many things, you guys. They get nice and crispy. Y'all been seeing lately I have been using them. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stuff it with my bacon and egg. And I have this Kobe and Monterey Jack mix shredded cheese that I'm going to go ahead and add. And then I still have some of this green salsa that I'm going to go ahead and add. It's just whatever kind of salsa you like if you want salsa. This is by H-E-B. It's called that green sauce. You could add anything else that's keto approved in here, you guys. Make a good like low carb burrito. I'm just using what I have. Okay, then you're just going to go ahead and wrap it up. I don't know how. How are we going to make this steak? Just be careful because these are very fragile. All right, it's not the prettiest, but we'll work with it. All right, so we're gonna get our pan nice and hot again, and we're gonna go ahead and crisp this face down. Okay, you can crisp it with like some olive oil, avocado oil. I had a little, I drained out that bacon grease, so I put it to the side. I put very little bacon grease at the bottom just so I can get it nice and crispy. So I just go ahead and use that. 
Okay, you see how the cut the carb crap gets nice and crispy, you guys. I absolutely love these. I'm just crisping the other side, and this is gonna be our easy breakfast. All right, guys, my breakfast is done. I'm just gonna enjoy this, and like I said, I just gotta clean up around the house, so nothing much going on this morning, but my stomach is growling. I'm super hungry, and these always hit the spot. Mmm. You hear that crunch? It's so good. Look at this. You could stuff these with any kind of things you want. Mm. I love cut the carb wraps. They're so good. It's just like a nice low carb crispy burrito. And I like that they're nice and thin. But I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy this. And then we'll probably have a snack later on. And of course some dinner. But I'm just going to get some things done around the house. Alright you guys, so I just got to Walmart. So earlier after breakfast, I started cleaning my restroom. And then um, my husband called me. He forgot something for work. So I had to rush to go take him something for work. And by the time I knew it, time was flying by. I came back home, cleaned my restroom, and now I'm at Walmart. I have to go pick up my kids, kids here shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and rush right in. I just need to pick up a few things for dinner. Hopefully I can get a full grocery shopping haul in either tomorrow or the next day for y'all because I haven't done a grocery grocery haul in a while these past two, two weeks have just been all over the place I kind of been going to the store every day or every other day and picking up small things for dinner so hopefully I can go get a big grocery haul in within these next couple of days and record that for y'all but for right now we're just gonna pick up some things for dinner I ran out of water bottles I don't know how so I need to pick up some water bottles and things for my kids school lunches tonight my family wanted spaghetti um as y'all know, my family does not do keto, so they want spaghetti, and just to make it easier, I'm going to make a keto spaghetti. So I kind of try to revolve meals around each other just to make it easier on me, um, and that works for me, and hopefully that helps y'all. If y'all are on y'all's keto journey, your family isn't, try to revolve meals around each other and just try to substitute things. It really just makes it that much more easier, but let's head into Walmart and quickly grab some things okay so with my spaghetti i wanted a side salad so i think i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one i'm just gonna keep out the tortilla squares but it's just a guacamole crunch chop kit okay no scratch that one we're getting avocado ranch then this is the pasta that i like to go in with so we're gonna go in with pasta zero spaghetti again and you guys this is literally by all the vegan stuff this is where you can find the noodles all right, you guys, I can't find a no sugar added sauce for the life of me besides Rayo's, and I just don't want to pay that price. So this is the least amount of sugar that I could find. So we're going to go ahead and get the Prego's Farmer Mar Farmer's Market Classic Marinara. All right, you guys, I grabbed my waters and little things I needed for my kids' school lunches. Now we're just grabbing cheddar cheese, if I could find it. Okay, I found it. I was looking for the block cheddar cheese. We absolutely love shredded block cheddar cheese on top of our spaghetti. I'm just grabbing this, you guys, and we're about to head out. All right, you guys, so I got home earlier. I picked up my boys from school. As soon as I got home, I started doing mom things, unpacking their backpacks. I made my family dinner, so they're eating right now. They're eating spaghetti, and we're gonna go ahead and make our dinner here shortly. But before we get into dinner, let's go ahead and unpack a December's keto crate. Usually I do these types of videos in a separate video, but since we're doing Vlogmas, I thought I'd include it in today's video. So I'm excited for this month's keto crate, but we have a little bit of different things going on this month in January so I'm gonna go ahead and read it off my phone because it's a lot to unpack so keto crate is doing something new these next couple months and this is an awesome awesome deal we're gonna be doing a bo another BOGO deal so you buy one get one free but it includes other offers so let me go ahead and just run into the details before we jump into this month's keto crate so there is a promo this month leading into January is a BOGO plus our beyond the crate bundle so right now keto crate is doing a beyond the crate bundle that was designed with keto success in mind it includes a second crate for free with the first delivery so you get two um keto crates when you purchase one and remember i do have a discount code for ten dollars off this is if this is your first time ordering from keto crate um you could use my discount code keto sammy and you will receive ten dollars off your first box so you receive ten dollars off your first box plus you get one free so that's an awesome deal in itself and then it says that you will receive the 2023 holiday cookbook it is a e-cookbook plus a seven day meal plan and grocery 
list. The meal plan alone is 10 net carbs per day or less. This means you, in, you can include two keto crate snacks a day at five net carbs or less per serving and still be within your 20 net carb limit. So going in the new year, they are helping everybody out that is first getting started on keto, uh, their keto journey they're helping you out on basically a meal plan that includes these snacks in your keto crate it says there's 21 recipes are included in the seven day meal plan recipes include enough variety to keep it interesting but also has food waste and your budget in mind it also will include super fast keto recipe book for when you're crunched on time budget friendly keto guide for when you're crunched for cash meal prep plan plus guide with principles 21 days to get off the couch guide motivation inspiration and dis destructibles so you are getting meal plans you're getting another crate for free these meal plans are going to include your snacks so go ahead and check those out you guys they're running an awesome bogo deal but you have to use my link um you must follow my bogo link to get the plus beyond the keto crate so make sure you go ahead and follow that link in the description below but they have also pro awesome promo deals going on and remember you can cancel anytime if you are first signing up for keto crate it is $39.99 a month but if this is your first time you will receive $10 off your first box and then from then on it will be $39.99 a month but you receive full size products you guys I have been with Keto Crate for almost I guess I think two years now it's been a while and I have always loved Keto Crate I think it's great that you get snacks delivered straight to your door and now they are pushing even further for y'all to go ahead and help y'all out with y'all's journeys that include these snacks. But this is awesome, awesome, awesome deal. Go ahead and check it out, you guys, before we jump into the new year. Because I know the new year is coming and we have a lot of people that are going to first start out on keto that need the help. And if y'all ever need help, feel free to message me, you guys. Y'all know I have my Facebook page where you can message me too. Or you can email me. It's in the description below if y'all ever need help. And I'll get back to y'all as soon as I can. All right. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into December's keto crate. You guys, sorry if I look all crazy, you guys. I have not been feeling 100% today. So I don't know if I'm showing it or not. I just feel like it. Um, my wisdom tooth is coming in. So it's pretty swollen and it is giving a lot of pressure in my head so I feel a little groggy today but we're gonna go ahead and unbox December's keto crate and I already know it's gonna be awesome I already know each month they always have amazing snacks and I always look forward to like the holiday snacks so around like the holidays I always look forward to what they have all right let's unbox it going in jam-packed already remember always full size you guys and i like i like the little packaging sometimes you know you could take them on the go okay we have a lot of familiar brands in here this month okay these i haven't tried oh we might use these in tonight's dinner you guys i'm making some um keto spaghetti like i said we're having a side salad so we might go in with these let's check them out so these are by shrewd food they're protein croutons parmesan herb flavor and you just basically um add them into like a salad in replace of a crouton so that's probably what we're gonna do tonight um or you can just have them like this you might just like to snack on them by themselves remember each product will always be five net carbs and under so these are two carbs 10 grams of protein um 60 calories 10 yeah 10 grams of protein my bad two grams of fat so this is what their packaging looks like let's go ahead and give them a try if i like them we're gonna add them into our salad oh they're a big size like they look nice and airy though uh so they're probably gonna be nice airy nice crunch they smell really good Hmm. oh yeah okay we're adding these into our salad okay parmesan herb Great Parmesan flavor, nice and airy, nice and crunchy. They have great flavor. You can definitely taste the herbs in it. Mm. These are a great crouton replacement because they have that flavor. And they still have that crunch. Like, mm. like these are a great crouton replacement. These are awesome. So really great flavor. We're definitely going to be having these tonight. Okay, great start to our keto crate. Next, we have a bar. Y'all know bars are amazing on your keto journey. 
I absolutely love monk pack their bars are always so good because I love the textures of the seeds so this is one gram of sugar three net carbs 150 calories and this is their peanut butter dark chocolate I've tried a couple of their bar flavors I don't think I've tried this flavor before and they have always been super good so it's a keto nut and seed plant-based gluten-free bar so the way their packaging looks let's go ahead and give it a try I guess these are gonna be my midday snacks for today my what I eat in a day. <laughs> these are our little midday snacks. Oh, I love their bars because I love like the chocolate coating it has and then just the textured with their nuts. Mmm. That's so good. They're always nicely sweetened. That's so good. The peanut butter flavor is there. Mm. The chocolate is sweet, it's not bitter. I absolutely love their bars. Their bars are probably one of my favorite bars. Like, they're super good. Y'all need to get y'all's hands on these. If y'all are a big bar person, I highly recommend Monk Pack. They have amazing bars and amazing flavors. Next, I've gotten these before. Oh, we got two of these. Oh, they sent me two. Okay, these are by Shrewd, the same brand as the Croutons. These are their milk chocolate dippers. These are so good. I'm glad I got two bags on accident probably, but it's okay. Okay, so these are three net carbs. And basically, they're like a chocolatey, crunchy, airy, sweet and salty type of snack. And they're just so good. These are their milk chocolate coated protein puffs. And they have seven grams of protein. This is the way their packaging looks. These are so good. I tried these before. Open. I gotta get my scissors okay this is the way they look you already know chocolate is like the way to my heart so mm. Mm. look at that these do have that cooling effect a little bit but their chocolate is super good a little bit more like on the darker chocolate side but I love the crunchiness with the chocolate mix. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I got two bags. Because <laughs> these are the bomb. If you love chocolate, you're going to love these. I used to be, I used to love Kit Kats. Like, Kit Kats were my weakness. And I like that these give that effect. You know how when you bite into a Kit Kat and it's crunchy and it has a chocolate? This is what it reminds me of. So these are a great little replacement if you love Kit Kats. These are awesome. You're going to enjoy these. Oh my God, you guys. I have to chew on this side. I'm sorry, but my tooth is bothering me. Uh, it's so bad. But all right. That was delicious. Oh my God. Keto Wise, they have the best, like, what are they called? They're caramel chocolate clusters. Oh my God. They're to die for. I've never tried these, though. These are new. So what they have are fat bombs. Y'all know... When you're on your keto journey, you got to get in a lot of fats. And it's always easy, easy to make fat bombs. So these are what these are. But it's like a little sweet treat at the same time. So these are by Keto Wise. And it does have MCT oil in them. Molotov-free, gluten-free fat bombs. They're peanut caramel naga, nagosh. Naga. <laughs> I know I'm saying that word wrong. I know. Nugget. A nugget. Right? That's what it is? I don't know. I like can say it in my head, but I can't pronounce it. That word right there. That's what they are. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try them. Seven grams of fat, 100 calories, less than one gram of sugar, two net carbs. And I think a serving size is both, because it has two in here. Serving size is two pieces, okay? Their other ones are so good. They were so chewy and so sweet and so chocolatey and so good. These are the way they usually look, okay? I'm saving one for later. Look at this. Those little clusters in there, little peanuts. All right, let's dig in. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. They're so good. The other ones I tried were kind of a little bit more caramel. And these taste a little bit more on the darker side than like milky wise. But these are so good. Mm. These are delicious. I don't know what it is, but Keto Wise makes like the best sweet fat bombs. Mm. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's just, I don't know. It's just delicious. I don't even know how to explain it. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and eat this. You know how when something's so good, you're like staring at the package? I even forget 
that these have MCT oil on them, oh, it sucks your tea. Because MCT oil is really bitter, but you don't taste it at all, which is amazing. Okay, next product, one of my other favorite chocolate brands, Ross Chocolates. Bomb. We got the cherry flavor last month. I've gotten so many flavors from Ross Chocolates, I've never been disappointed. Their little chocolate bars, squares, whatever they are, they are so good. The just every single flavor. I don't know. Last month I got the cherry flavor, and that was probably one of my top favorites. Then the almond ones, they have dark chocolate, they have dark chocolate and sea salt. Like they have so many flavors. So, what flavor did we get this month? I never tried this one. This is dark chocolate minis with salted caramel. Oh, we got a lot of caramel items. Ross chocolates, and I always love their packaging. It's super cute. A serving size is five pieces. So they're like little, little chocolate squares. This is the way they look. They're nice and thin, but then they're just milky when they melt in your mouth. Ooh, that's a lot of caramel flavor. Caramel, dark chocolate mini, salted caramel. That caramel is coming through. Let's go ahead and taste it. Ooh, salty. Mmm. Okay. I'm picky. I don't like a lot of salt. It might not be a lot of salt for y'all, but it's a lot of salt for me. So, definitely dark chocolate, a little bitter, salty, and then the caramel hits you at the end. This isn't on my top list for Ross chocolates, but I'm going to tell you it's a good flavor. Like, I know y'all are probably going to like it. I'm just very picky when it comes to salty and caramel. It kind of reminds me of like, like a toffee type of thing, but it's good. It's just, I'm very picky with it. So I give it about a seven out of 10, but I think y'all are really going to enjoy this. If you're like a big salty caramel person, kind of toffee, I think I would probably melt these down and make a dessert for on top. Like I want to melt, melt it down and make like a caramel, a keto caramel cheesecake, melt these on top. And I think it'd be delicious mixed with something. I just feel like for me, it's a lot at once, but I give it a seven out of 10. Still pretty awesome. Ross chocolates have a variety of flavors. So if you're looking for a great chocolate, these are the way to go. Okay, we got a couple of like crunchy snacks in here. I've tried these, so I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna open them, I'm gonna go ahead and save them. But I like that they come in these little packaging that you can take on the go. But these are by Hilo, and what it is, it's just a crispy cheddar cheese and almond snack mix. So, y'all know almonds are a great snack, cheese is a great snack, so these are great to have on hand when you are heading out the door, you're going on the trip, you're going to work, you have like a work drawer, maybe you can keep them in your drawer when you're craving a snack. These are awesome um, and they have great flavor because I tried these before. They're nice and salty, nice and crunchy. The almonds are really fresh. So they're only three net carbs and 12 grams of protein. So these are by Hilo Life. They also have chips. If you're a big chip person, Hilo Life has great chip replacements. Awesome, awesome company. I've also tried these plenty of time and these are awesome. This is another bar, but it has like the crispies to it. These are keto crisp almond butter, four net carbs each, 10 grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber, and these do have MCT oil on them as well. These are a great, great bar as well. It has really good flavor. You don't really taste the MCT oil on it, but it also has that crunchiness to it. So it's nice and soft bar, but it has a little crunchies in there. So it's a nice crunch, really, really good bar. Again, these are by Keto Crisp. Okay, then we got some pork rinds. I don't think I've tried this flavor. I know I've tried a dill flavor, but I don't think I've tried spicy dill, and these are really catching my attention. These are my Southern Recipe Small Batch. I've tried their chicharrones plenty of times. They are so good. So many different flavors, but I haven't tried this one, and I'm curious, okay? So this is the way their packaging looks. Let's see if it lives up to the spicy dill flavor. I'm big on spice, so if it's not spicy, I'm gonna tell y'all. It smells good. It smells like salt and vinegar. Well, that's what dill is, right? That's what it smells like. But they're always nice and airy, and I love that. Mm-mm. 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 Okay, the dill flavor is there, and it's really good. Ooh. Okay. Oh. It has a slight kick to it. Like, it's not overly spicy, but you feel... That little spice in there. You very, you really get the dill flavor. Super good. Not overpowering. Nice and crunchy. Really good dill flavor. And you just get that slight little kick. I wish it was a little bit more, but it's there. And it's super good. So if you're, if you like spice, but you don't like overly spicy, these are super good. 
nice and crunchy nice and airy this flavor is delicious i like these i think my husband will love these too so again these are my southern recipe small batch they're spicy dill flavored pork rinds okay we got one more product which i'm actually really excited about okay more chocolate but <laughs> white chocolate okay chalk zero i absolutely love chalk zero we have gotten plenty of products lately from chalk zero and all of them are super good this is your keto bark white chocolate style cookies and cream oh my god i'm so excited okay and i like when i get chalk zero products that they're always individually wrapped so you can just save them for later and they stay nice and fresh so serving size is one bar there's six in here uh 11 12 13 four. i think did i say three net carbs i think these are three net carbs each 140 calories so let's go in you see i love look at this full size bars look at this isn't that awesome and then you get two of these boxes come on okay we're going in with one i love me some cookies and cream so hopefully this has really good flavor i love their packaging it's so pretty Okay, it broke, but this is the way it looks. Kind of. Little bar. It's not even, this is a good size. All right, let's dig in. God, I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Wait. Give me a second. Their white chocolate is so milky. It's like melting in my mouth. And I love the little chips in there. It has that texture. Cookies and cream flavors on point. Not bitter. Nicely sweetened. And it tastes like cookies and cream. Like without the guilt. You got cookies and cream bar. Candy bar without the guilt. Mm, and it's so good so good 10 out of 10 for this one i love this one i'm gonna eat this whole bag <laughs> all right guys i guess we had dessert before dinner but that was this month's keto crepe go ahead and jump on that bogo deal my link will be in the description below for y'all don't forget to use my discount code q with sammy this month was really good we got a lot of chocolate items we got a lot of sweet and salty crunchy items a whole variety and awesome brands you guys like i didn't have not one negative thing to say about anything anything everything was awesome really good box but yeah i'm finishing this up and we're about to go ahead and make some dinner you guys i'm gonna have my last meal of the day since we did have dessert <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and jump all that but i hope you all enjoyed december's keto crate all right you guys it's officially time to start making dinner i was taking my boys a bath and as you could see my family already ate i got like spaghetti stuff everywhere but we're making the same thing for dinner so we're just substituting the noodles and losing and using like a lower sugar red sauce so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna cook up some ground beef i used half the ground beef for my family's spaghetti because they don't really like a lot of meat so i usually get one pack and it kind of serves for both of us so i'm not gonna eat the whole thing but yeah we're just gonna make a serving size again sorry if i'm a little groggy today my tooth you guys hurts so bad like it's swollen my gum is swollen so i keep having to chew on this side so thankfully I'm making some spaghetti tonight so it's not like so much i have to chew but my wisdom tooth keeps coming in like every two months it starts hurting and i know i need to go get it pulled out but i am a big baby <laughs> When it comes to the dentist's office, I don't want to go, but I know I'm going to have to go. But right now, bear with me. I'm not 100% myself. It just hurts and it's swollen. So, and I can feel it every time I talk, like my teeth, like I feel it pushing against my cheeks. It's just bothering me so bad. Hopefully it goes away. It started hurting like the day before yesterday. So hopefully it's good by this week and it goes away. But I desperately need to take care of it. I am just being a big baby and I don't want to go. <laughs> and Ray's like you need to do it I'm like I don't want to but anyways let's go ahead and get started on dinner okay so I'm just making like a basic meat sauce you guys since I'm not feeling 100% if you want to add different things to your spaghetti you definitely can add some mushrooms some bell peppers whatever else you like but I'm just going in with the basic meat sauce today okay I'm just gonna go ahead and cook this ground beef through it's very little because I used most of it with my family Okay, while our meat is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse our pasta zero. All you have to do is drain the liquid and give it a good rinse and then we'll simmer it in our sauce. All right, you guys, I went ahead and cooked my ground beef through. 
and um, I drained any grease. I'm just going to lower my heat because we're going to add some sauce here in a bit and I hate when it pops everywhere. So just season your meat how you like it. I'm going in with some black pepper, a little bit of salt to taste. Usually I season my meat once I'm done cooking it. It just holds flavor better. A little bit of salt. We got some basil leaves. So you can basically go in with Italian seasoning if you like. Basil leaves, oregano. Then I'm going to go in with some garlic powder. And then this is optional, but I like to add a little red chili flakes. Alright. So this is a good mix. Now we're going to add in our noodle replacement. I kind of just let it simmer here for a quick second to get out any extra liquid. Sorry if y'all hear Ray in the background. I already told him to be quiet. I don't have any time. He forgets because he's playing the game. I don't blame him though because I get a lot of time. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let this simmer for just about two minutes. Let the liquid come out. Now we're going to add in our low sugar red sauce. A serving size is half a cup. Add in a little bit. Do y'all like keep your red sauce on the side or do y'all mix it in? I always mix it in. All right, I added just a little bit more red sauce so that can coat the noodles really well. And you guys, this is a very simple dinner. It didn't take long at all. But I'm gonna let this noodles heat, heat through. So I'm gonna leave this right here simmering for a little bit and then we'll get our side salad. Okay, for the side, we got this avocado ranch chopped salad kit. It comes with a cabbage blend, four cheese blend, blue corn tortilla strips, which are not keto. So we're gonna take those out and put in the little crunchy cheese crisps that we got from our keto crate today. And then it has the avocado ranch dressing. Of course, you can just chop up some romaine and things like that just to keep it simple, but I don't know. I just thought it would be easier just to grab this little salad kit that's already chopped up. So we're just gonna pour some. And I, I like the cabbage kind of salads, like the little crunchiness to it sometimes. Okay, so these little tortilla strips are not keto, so those are just going to go off to the side. We got this little cheese blend. Just going to add some right here. Then we got these in our keto crate today. These are by Shrewd Fruit. They're protein croutons and all it is is just crunchy parmesan herb little cheese balls so we're just going to replace this with the tortilla strips i'm just going to add a few and then it came with the avocado lime dressing i absolutely love avocado lime ranch it's so good all right guys i went ahead and served up my low carb keto spaghetti Honestly, I'll probably just finish like half of this, you guys, just because my tooth hurts so bad. But I'm still in the mood for spaghetti because it always hits the spot. I love to add some Parmesan cheese. So we're just going to go in with a little bit of Parmesan on top. And here is dinner, our last meal of the day. We got our keto spaghetti and our little side salad for tonight. I really want to try this side salad first because I want to try this dressing. Mmm. That one's good. Because I love um, Chick-fil-A's avocado lime ranch. This one tastes a little bit more avocado-y. <laughs> but it's really good. This tooth is kicking my butt. A little like too slow. These little crunchy cheesers are so good. And guys, I apologize if I skip a day today. But this video will be out tomorrow. I was really trying not to skip any days on my vlogmas. But I got behind over the weekend. And it happens. I'm only human. But this video will be out tomorrow for you guys. And I'll still be vlogging on my vlogmases throughout the days. Mm. Guys, my favorite comfort food is spaghetti. Like, it's so good. Even low carb keto spaghetti. These noodles are the bomb. So good. If you can't get your hands on these noodles... You can definitely use zoodles. I actually haven't used zoodles in a really long time just because I discovered these noodles and it's more like a noodle to me. But 
You could take zucchini and spiral it or they just sell them pre-spiraled in your store and you can make spaghetti out of that. It's still super good. I just haven't done it in a long time because I always grab these noodles. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy my last meal of the day and I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna go to sleep early, take some medicine for my tooth. But I really hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos this week every day, of course. My kids, this is their last week of school. They will be off for Christmas break soon so hopefully I get to make some Christmas cookies with them soon some gingerbread houses I got some Christmas parties to go to for their school so we're gonna get some Christmas things rolling very soon we just got to get through this week but I hope you all enjoyed this video guys and I'll see y'all tomorrow